I'm gonna bring this baby out for a swim. If they don't eat this, I'm gonna go home. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I have been fighting so hard for you. Oh, there we go. That's a better fish. And what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna try to target some cormorants. The cormorant is an invasive species that don't belong here in our beautiful archipelago. This is cormorant hunting at its finest. Five shots, five dead cormorants. Good freaking evening ladies and welcome back to today's episode. My name is Mille Pettersson and today I'm gonna bring this baby out for a swim. That's the eye cross, that's like a small kayak slash flow tube and today I'm gonna go pike fishing from it. I'm super excited about this because now it's early October and the water temperature has the water temperature has dropped really quickly so it's like seven eight degrees in the water so now it's really gonna be about finding those warm spots and hoping for some nice pike action but now I'm gonna inflate the baby and then I'm gonna go out over here and see if we can get any pike this is the one I was using when I was uh, fishing with Pontus in the episode you can watch up here, it was pretty cool. But now it's, I'm gonna see if it's actually possible to catch a pike from it as well, or if I'm gonna get dragged over to Sweden. Try launching your boat over here. Perfect! Then I have my rod and my paddle. Couldn't be better. Let's go! So you should always face this from the side like this. Adam, the founder, told me. Oh! Alright, now we're freaking talking! Down, da -da 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 down, and we're in. Perfect. Okay, let's see where we should start. Hmm, that's always a hard question. You know what? I'm actually gonna see what it looks like over here. Information is always LP to L success. So that's why I have this magical thing. The deeper, the portable sonar. Now I'm just gonna attach this to the rope, like this, and just a simple knot like that. Then we're gonna put this baby into the water, just like that. So now we're just gonna start up the app. And right here we have 2.3 meters, but look at that, so much weed on the bottom. You see, the orange stuff is the bottom, and the green stuff is the grass. And that's exactly where we will find pike at this time of the year. So now it's just to, for me to get my rod and to start fishing. I do think that it's a bit too warm in the water for this one right now. But I don't, I'm not sure actually, so, but at least I'm gonna start with... Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start actually with the headbanger. It's kind of murky in the water also, so a big bright lure like this should uh, should get them fired up. Oh man! Imagine, imagine uh, if we caught uh, like big pike today, six, seven kilos. Oh, I'm almost nervous. <laughs> right, nothing here on the first spot. I'm gonna take up the anchor and uh, move over to the next one and do that repeatedly until we find some fish right i think we just uh, i think we just came to place number two now nice weed line that i'm actually think gonna work pretty good here we have uh, 4.2 meters oh good god and look we even have a fish here on the bottom oh man now i'm excited let's see what this will lead to all right, it's your time to shine again, baby. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go! No! Oh, no, I lost it! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, if I change to a... Uh... Oh, there we go! Are you fucking kidding me? 
Oh my god. If they don't eat this, I'm gonna go home. Now all I want to do is change back to the head down there. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, look at this bite mark. <laughs> Why is nothing working for me today? There we fucking go. Oh. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Now I'm gonna move from uh, that place over to the next weed line and I was thinking that I should uh, troll this lure a bit before going there. Time on the water, you should always try to be as effective as possible. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. About to move to the other side of this weed line. And here we have the first fish. Woo hoo hoo hoo! <laughs> oh, what a relief. What a relief. Maybe I should have tried casting with, uh, with that one before starting to troll. But, mm, oh, I have been fighting so hard for you, my little precious. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, now I'm gonna release this baby back into the water. Oh, oh, bye, 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 bye. Yes, 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 that feels so freaking good. Trolling fish is better than no fish. Next spot is up for the count and now I, after, after I just caught that fish on trolling. So now I'm gonna see if this one works in here in the weeds as well. Oh, there we go. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Crack the code, ladies. No, it's not a better fish, but every fish feels big on this vessel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Hey, baby. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, she's barely hooked. Yeah, there she came off. There she came off. Wasn't a big one, but a bit bigger than the last one at least. It feels so freaking good to crack the code. You guys have no idea. Those fish I lost, I was that close to getting a mental breakdown. Okay, so I'm gonna do the last cast of the day out in the middle. That's what worked in the beginning of the day at least. Even though I didn't manage to hook them, but it was... Ah, oh, that was frustrating, but it felt so good to get one and to almost get one. That actually was a little bit bigger, so... What an experience this has been. It's absolutely crazy but now I'm afraid I have to go home. What a great experience it was to fish uh, pike from this bad boy the iCross. Talk about getting close to nature. Now I'm gonna go home and recharge some batteries because tomorrow I'm hooking up with my friend Simon and we're gonna go after some bad cormorants. So see you guys tomorrow. Right, guys so our boat taxi driver just left us me and my buddy Simon all alone here on this wonderful remote little island in the middle of Åland and Sweden and what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna try to target some cormorants and for those of you who don't know the cormorant is an invasive species that don't belong here in our beautiful archipelago what they do is that they eat all the fish in the sea like they eat all the trout, all the sander, all the perch and all the pike and all the fish that we love to fish after. So now we're gonna give something back to the small little fish. Now we're gonna try to hunt and kill as many cormorants as it's physically possible to 
hunt in one day. We don't have a boat here. And that's because the cormorants, they see very well. They see, they're extremely smart and see everything. So what we instead have is the brilliant idea of the iCross. I think this is going to be a brilliant hunting machine since it's camouflaged color as well. Look at this guys. So now me and Simon are all alone here on this island. And now we're gonna inflate this and then we're gonna put out our fake cormorants and then we're gonna get going. He's gonna attach the chair to this one. Now we're all ready for action. So even if we haven't tried this fully yet, I'm pretty sure it's the ultimate hunting machine for this outer archipelago hunting. But uh, now let's put up the fake cormorants and get ourselves seated and let's see if we have any action over here. It's almost like fishing, you know, the hunting adrenaline rush that we're searching for. So I'm super excited for this. So the idea is that the bird will come in really low and see what they're gonna think is their bodies, but instead it's just decoys. And then when it's way too late for them, we're gonna come up and we're gonna smack them down to the ground. How do we hide from these bastards? Uh, it's very important to be very low, like this or something. And uh, when the cormorants come, in range that you can shoot them, you go up like this and kill them. Thank you. First one, buddy. Yeah. So here's the first one. And look at this giant, man. And this is just a regular cormorant. They eat studies, uh, there are many different studies. Some say that they eat half a kilo of fish per day. Some say they eat three kilos of fish per day. No matter, they eat a shitload of fish. I mean, look at those feet and the jaw and the wings. They're the ultimate hunting predator. But uh, they're almost on top of the food chain, but they have one thing that's above them and that's us. So now we're gonna take our responsibility and keep shooting these. And here's the reason why we want to kill them. You see here, it's a little, little fish. And they also eat bigger fish like uh, perch and... Pike and sander and trout and all of it. Yeah. So I'm using a regular shotgun. I have to empty this one at first. But as you can see, we are now hunt photographers. We duct tape uh, this to the, to the gun and uh, hopefully it looks pretty good. There's way too much of these birds. Three. <laughs> so now we have five dead cormorants on five shots possible. We've never experienced something like that before. So now we're gonna grab the eye cross and now we're gonna go out and grab them. Hello, welcome on board. One, here we have two, here we have three, here we have four, here we have five. This is cormorant hunting at its finest. Five shots, five dead cormorants.
was the last one for today. Pretty small. So despite the fact that there are tens of thousands of cormorant around this area in the Stockholm archipelago and the Åland archipelago, we're still really satisfied with our 39 birds that we got today. That means that we roughly said 30,000 perch, which these guys otherwise would have eaten during a, during a whole year. It was a new experience to bring this bad boy out here on, the, on a remote island in the middle of nowhere, it feels like. Now we're gonna go home and take care of these birds. But if you like what you saw, please tell us in the comments and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But that was everything for today. So until next time, ladies, ciao. So that was so sick. We have five cormorants down on five shots. Neither me or Simon has ever shot that good before. So little clap, Paxson. And I'll turn it there.